What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I'm showing you a new feature that's actually incorporated into the annotations in YouTube which is called in-video programming and basically what that is it's a new feature that lets you either focus um, a spotlight on either your channel or a specific video on your channel throughout all of your videos. So you just add one annotation and it will actually put that annotation in every single one of your videos. So I'm going to show you how to do it. This is what it looks like. The channel one looks like this. So it'll just have a little picture of your channel icon or you can put whichever icon you want in there. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Or you can focus it on a thumbnail of a specific video which looks pretty nice as well. I kind of like that one. But either way I'm going to show you how to do it. Go into your web browser and head into YouTube. So first what you want to do is go into your channel. Click on your channel in the top right hand corner and then go to settings. So once you're in settings, you will see on the um, left hand side channel settings, go into in video programming and you will see two options here, either feature your channel or feature a video. So I'm going to first of all uh, start with feature my channel and you can select what position you want it in. So personally, I like when it's on the bottom left, just really uh, personal preference. And then you can either choose to have it play throughout the entire video just the end of the video, which you can select your duration. So if I wanted it to be exactly eight seconds long, I would just set it like that. Or a custom start time, which would be, let's say I wanted to start it at uh, two minutes and 14 seconds, let's say, of every single one of my videos and have it last for 12 seconds. I can do that as well. Personally, I like when a watermark plays for the uh, entire video. So I'm just going to select that and then hit save. So you will see that now if I go to one of my videos, I'm just going to head to one of my more recent videos and just make sure my volume's off so you don't hear any echoing. I am going to go to a review right here and you can see that I have that little annotation right there for my channel. And when you kind of scroll over it, it gets darker. And when you're not scrolled over it, it is kind of transparent. So you can still see what's going on. This will also work on any of my other videos. So it's playing through any video right now. Even my first video on my channel, that annotation is active. Now, if I go into settings, I can also uh, go back to in video programming and you can change that to be a custom image file. So if I wanted to change that to the subscribe button that I saved, I can just upload that and hit select. Once I do that, I'm going to hit save and go back and show you what that looks like. So that's a really cool thing I like. You can add a little subscribe button, make it seem a little more uh, personal, I guess. And although it's not actually going to let you subscribe directly through that button, it's just going to bring you straight to my channel. It does remind people that they should subscribe and really just will drive more traffic to your channel. So now let's check out some other options we can do. I'm going to go into settings again and go to in video programming. You can do two at once. I think it looks a little bit tacky. You can do feature a video and feature your channel. I think that's just really cluttered. I don't really like the look of it. So I only like to do one at a time. I'm going to remove that one and show you what feature a video looks like. You can select through any one of your videos right here, or you can paste in a YouTube video URL because this only shows some of your more recent videos. So let's say I wanted to feature my iPhone 5 drop test. Great video, by the way, if you haven't seen it, the Outer Box Defender versus the Griffin Survivor. I actually threw my phone out of a bedroom window. Go check that out if you want. I'm going to hit save, and uh, you can also choose where you want that to be positioned. So again, I'll do bottom left. I go I'm going to do a custom start time of um, the first second of my video. So... Uh, it plays right away when the video starts and then I'm going to do a 12 second duration and then hit save. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want. And now if I go to any one of my videos, so I'll go down to just a random video. Let's do Apple admits that map sucks. You will see that pop up right there. Now, if these start to annoy you in anybody's video, you can always disable them by hide, hiding the annotations in a video using that little speech bubble icon down in the bottom navigation bar. Anyway, guys, that's a quick demo on how to use the new feature of YouTube, which is called in-video programming. Really easy to add annotations and drive traffic to any one of your videos that you have already made and puts it really in any video that you've made. You don't need to go add annotations to every single one of your videos. 
Uh, thanks guys for watching. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check them out. Hit that subscribe button and the like button if it helped you out. I really haven't been making that many videos because I have a little bit of a cold, if you can't tell already. But anyway, more videos to come soon. I have some reviews lined up for this week. Thanks, and I'll catch you on my next video.